Oh, little DJI. I'm sorry for beating you with my backhand. I realize I've been a little harsh on the DJI. It's pos it has potential. It really does. I actually enjoy using it more than the GoPro. The colors are nicer, straight out of camera. Skin less Simpson-like. Ned Flanders doesn't come to my house. Because we're not the same people. Get out of my house, Ned. My main complaint was the exposure was terrible, but we've upped it now. We got plus 0.7. Oh, God. You overexposed. But then at least I'm not... Oh, ooh, artistic. Oh, if only I could do that in slow motion. A lot of my initial observations on this camera admittedly came when I tested them at night in my room, super low light, and I just noticed how much worse the DJI looked, but that's not where a lot of action happens. Not a lot of people snowboard in their room and need an action cam to film it. I do. Indoors, not all can be revealed to the truest eye. I couldn't believe how much worse the DJI looked. In low light, when I did this at night, this is almost not even fair anymore because it's such a high light situation. Wow. But it looked so much worse than the GoPro. Do you still look terrible? What just happened there? What happened? And the stabilization was doing weird shit. Let's go into real low light land. Oh, I can see the GoPro in the mirror. Oh, the screen shut off. You piece of shit. You flying shit. I disappeared. Uh, uh. Little buddy. Ah, God damn it. So today I want to complain more or fall in love. Whatever happens first. Whatever happens first. It's up to you, DJI. Give me a ring. Put a ring on me already. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So first things first, I don't think this is wide enough. I have to really get out there. And then you see the arm. There, you avoid the arm. <laughs> oh, that was good content if I've ever seen it. I've seen content. Not that good, of course, but... So, it's not wide enough. And we're on the de-warp. Actually, I haven't even tried the un-de-warped. That is foolish. Let's try it. Ta-da! Doesn't even look wider. All it did was add a fisheye effect in zero wideness. What the hell is this mode all about? What the hell's the point of that? Did it get wider? It doesn't look like it did. And then now every pole I walk by gives people nausea. They're gonna spit up their soup because of that pole. That's dangerous, those leaning poles of Toronto. Just don't come here. Certainly don't buy a home here. Seriously, I'm gonna see if it's even wider. We're on the fish-like warp, not de-warped. <laughs> and now let's switch to de-warp. Ta-da! We're back on de-warped. Do you see less of that? Whatever, it's a bunch of shit. It's a bunch of the same shit. You better not be overexposing this right now. This better be perfectly exposed. I seem like I'm... Teenage girl skin. Oh, hello. Hello to us. That's the secret. Overexposed to get perfect skin and whiter teeth. I'm a geisha. That's fine. My country is proud. Auto exposure is the ultimate life hack for a vlogger. You never know which direction you're going. You're going this way. Oh, I'm bright. No, oh, that's teenagers that way. Okay, we're going back this way. I don't like the darkness. Let's switch to the GoPro. So now we're on the GoPro, and I can't even tell how it's handling it. But I assume it handles it better. We're just exposed. Oh, there were teenagers. That was definitely not a joke from the last clip. Retreating. Abort on that one. Huh? Safety first. 
But one thing I don't get on the GoPro is the colors are so much worse than the 7, and the native white balance confuses me. I don't understand if it's a flatter profile or just a stupid white balance that makes Mars the designated planet of our kingdom. Like, this is it. This is Mars. Let's switch to auto white balance. I think I made a whole mistake going to native in the first place. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. Someone send help. All right, now we're in auto white balance of the colors returned to some semblance of dignity. Are we still on Mars? Freaking, they got U-Hauls on Mars already. When did we even establish this place? The oxygen's definitely low here, I can tell. It hurts to breathe. It's colder than you'd think. When it's 59. The DJI does feel a little better in the hands. It's a little smaller. It weighs exactly the same, 125 grams. But the DJI feels a little nicer. And I like how it's easier to switch to things in the menu system. The tapping thing doesn't work with these gloves. I prefer the DJI, but the image quality let me down. The darkness, that's what I felt. The darkness and the slow motion is only eight times slow. Who would pay for that? It, do it doesn't even tell me what frame rate it's filming in. What the hell is that? Eight times slow? I could slow it down, but it gives me a 30p file. We're in 24p. What, what's the math on that one? You film in 20, it's a, a times 0.7, nobody knows. Nobody could ever figure that out. There is no equation. You know what's weird with the DJI? It's so much less sharp than the GoPro that I thought it had the same issue as my Sony focused on something in the background because the background looked as sharp as the GoPro, but like what's your closest focusing distance, DJI? It ain't here. It feels like it's like I need a 15 foot selfie stick, then we get our wide angle. But it's like I'm not in focus here, might as well use my Sony. That's hilarious. It's about as sharp, a little bit sharper than the out of focus Sony. That's embarrassing. I noticed both the DJI and the GoPro stop recording after like 3.69 gigabytes worth of footage. And then they create a separate file, but at least the DJI creates a newly named file that makes sense and it's in order in your folder whereas the gopro i gotta sort by date and then sort again by date because it reversed it oh what a pain in the ass whereas sony just continues recording forever one file if you want it it'll go for two hours one thing we haven't tested on the gopro is 4k 60p can you believe it and now we can slow this one down oh can you believe that we're slow, but everything is so exciting now. Even though you're watching in two times speed because I'm dyslexic in the brain area. Uh, 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 uh. Another thing we haven't tested is 2.7K, 120 frames per second. Now when we slow this down, but I talk faster. What is your mom? I have a feeling the 0.7 compensation was too high. We're at 0.3 now. Am I still dark with a somewhat backlit sky? And now am I not overexposed? Oh my God, there's horses. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? And don't quote me on this, but it, it appears to the naked eye that the DJI does not have stabilization in slow-mo. Is that true? No audio, no slow-mo? It felt a little shaky. The Sony was smoother, the GoPro was way smoother. I want to love you, but I don't think you're making it very easy. You would quit drinking. The horses are crossing the street. They waited for the green light. They're so polite. 
Oh, I'm not. Oh, don't see this. Don't look at this, please. Don't look at this right now. You have more important things to focus on. Is my glove wind hack thing working? I feel like there's no wind today, so it better be working. <laughs> there's like not, it's the quietest day I've ever heard. Fantastic. It's really annoying to use though. I'm trying to pinch it tight and there's gotta be a better solution. That wind jammer thing is so stupid. It slips over, it's like, yeah, it works. Oh, every time I wanna take the files off to my computer, I gotta take that thing off? Are you kidding me right now? Sure, it's another first world problem. Those are real problems too. I have problems. So which do you prefer, DJI or the GoPro? It seems like it's split 50-50 in the audience. They're just, I feel like everybody who owns a DJI is choosing, oh, that one looks better. I like it better. Everyone who owns a GoPro is like, yeah, GoPro 7 is the best. <laughs> Nobody says the 8. The only reason to get the 8 over the 7 is the potential media mods of life. If they're good, we got a winner. If not, we lose. We lose hard. So let me know if we learned anything this time on another episode of Let's Walk to the Grocery Store and Make a Video to Pay for the Groceries. Show. No wind. Stop. Not this time. Not this time, DJI. You will not ruin another show. This is the show now. It's 100% focused on wind protection. It's working. It's working. All right, we're done. Thanks for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt. Subscribing for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.